What is going on everybody? My name is Aaron or Exit Cosmo and welcome back to another Overwatch video. So it is time for another Lunar New Year video. I'm super excited to make this one. The skin videos are always my favorite and super fun to do and you guys also seem to love them as well so I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get into the skins. Firstly, before I do the skins actually, I want to talk about my annual loot box giveaway for the event and how to enter but if you don't care or already entered from the last video, there is going to be a timestamp up on the screen right now to when you can skip to where the skins are. So into the giveaway rules, if you have seen my videos, there are a few main things that you need to do to be entered and able to be contacted if you win. Number one, also the most important one is to comment hashtag Overwatch Lunar New Year 2021. Hashtag Overwatch Lunar New Year 2021. Without this, you are not entered into the giveaway and you need to spell it right or I can't find your comment. Number two, you need to include your battle tag or some way for me to contact you. I picked the winner on my live stream of like the countdown on the day of the event and it is random, but I stray away from the comments that don't have a battle tag or a way to contact them in their comment. It is very hard for me to give you the loot boxes if I have no way of contacting you. Number three, you have to be subscribed. And lastly, in your comment for this video, leave your ideas for a new game mode that is going to be in the next video, a game mode for the event. Just like this video, I will be using your guys' comments and you will be featured in the video. So enough about that, let's get to the skins. So for the common skins, Clara commented that we should have a Symmetra skin and a traditional Chinese dress along with Sombra. I think these would be awesome. Sim definitely needs a skin. And August Kane said we should have a ball skin where he is a dragon and his ball is a giant egg. I love the dragon aspect of these Chinese New Year skins. So this one was great. Both great suggestions as always. But let's get into my skins now. So we're starting off super strong here with two, yes, you heard me correct, two Ash skins. So for the first one, it has gained a little bit of popularity lately. Ash is like a samurai, as you can see. I could not find the artist. I'm really big on giving credit because I don't like stealing others' work because it has uh, happened to me in the past. <laughs> the guy's name who I don't want to say but because he wants attention. But I do know the artist for this next work up on the screen is the other Ash skin I was talking about. It is by Zoma Femoz. I really hope I said that right. Link to his creation video in the description. Now you can see it says Japan Festival, but let's be real here. It works for the Lunar New Year as well. This skin is just plain amazing. All the accents really fit each other. My favorite is Ash's Dynamite is like a little grenade and I love how the ropes and the makeup on Bob's face. Long story short, this skin's amazing. On to the next one. Now, speaking of skins that were not made for the event, but still really fit, this next skin, Trot, was made by Ava Kringle. I hope I said that one right too. I'm pretty sure I did, Ava, Eva, and it's supposed to be a folk skin, but I really like it, and I think some things were swapped around. It could easily become like a Chinese New Year skin, looking kind of similar to Tracer's Chinese New Year skin. It's kind of reminded me with like the hat and stuff. So yeah, the art is incredible, and just with the other links, her art station link will be down there. She makes a ton of awesome cool skins. Like I I love her work so much. So if you want to see more unrelated to the Lunar event, you can check that out down in the description as well with those other links. Next is a Widow skin. I'm actually in love with this skin. This could maybe be an epic because it's just sleek and simple. The creator of this skin is Zinganza. Just like um, all the others, his Twitter is linked in the description. But the colors on this skin are actually amazing. The gold and red obviously fit super well together, but the gun accents are crazy and like the the mine it's just such a pretty skin i love it so much now i know i'm gonna please a lot of you with this one next up i have two genji skins just like the ash one i have two skins the first one is going to be the one in the thumbnail made by artist akash singh his art station is linked in the description and this is also not made specifically for the event but it does fit asian culture and it's a crazily well-made skin and render honestly you probably couldn't tell if it was real or not because of how good it looks but also for genji there is this samurai skin which is also super cool made by font art couldn't find a link for this one but that's his name it was just randomly pulled off google but the colors of the skin are super cool i like the little symbol on his chest that lights up the green surprisingly fits actually pretty well with the red and we can never get too many genji skins right so this would be awesome Roadhog is our next candidate for skins, and this is another samurai skin. I do think this skin fits pretty well. The hook is cool. His armor really resembles the culture, so I think this is really good. His breather or whatever, his canister, looks awesome along with his gun. So samurai is really taking a lot of dubs today for this video. And next up, just like the Widow skin, this is another super cool skin made by artist Clary.exe on Instagram. It's nice and simple, looks super sleek, and could fit uh, in as like the Widow skin before, maybe an epic. I don't know about you guys, but I love sleek skin designs more than anything, and this would be awesome to see in the event. 
Adding another sports skin to the roster, we have Zenyatta here called Riot Zenyatta. I definitely butchered that completely. I don't know the artist, but I love literally everything about this skin, you guys. I don't think you understand how much I like this skin, the colors, the clean design, but also just being precise at the same time, like his orbs, the little scarf waving, everything is so perfect. This is definitely my personal favorite out of these skins. Now lastly, you've probably seen this Arisa skin on the screen right now. It's super popular, but it's a lion, and this is actually the year of the metal ox. And that is definitely not an ox. So we are going to continue the tradition on my channel of designing my own skin in Photoshop. But most of you probably know the twist is is that I can barely use Photoshop. I'm actually pretty bad at it besides like for making thumbnails uh, for this purpose. So enough blabbing and let's get to my uh I don't even know if you would call it skin design at this point because of how bad these are. <laughs> What do you guys think of these skins? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like, it helps the channel out a lot. And if you want more gaming content and news, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell so you can see all my videos when they first come out. Also, if you want a shout out at the end of the video, leave a comment and you can get picked for that. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.